Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, we have been working on the Tecton pipeline slash OpenShift pipeline for building all the container images for all, all of our projects, including Dot Station, Apps, Adida Hub. Uh, here, what we are targeting is to have a custom image built for a Jupyter notebook based repository. Uh, why are we doing this? Is we don't want the data scientist to get into the hassle of writing a build config or writing a Docker file for containerizing their own Jupyter notebook. Uh, we just want them to uh, make, put their efforts in, uh, in improving the notebooks or adding more content. So one of the techniques which we have used here is to have a, a Tecton based pipeline, which anyone can include into their repositories where they're committing their Jupyter notebooks in the code. And uh, once they uh, add this webhook, what they can do is they can do a tag release. On a tag release, the pipeline uh, triggers, it builds an image, custom image, and it push. right now it pushes to an image registry, which is behind Red Hat VPN. And from there, you, it is included into a Jupyter, Jupyter Hub, which is which is uh, which is on the cluster of Open Data Hub, uh, so Data Hub dot PSI. So, uh, I uh, I would like to show how you can include and use that. Uh, just a second. So here is a sample repository. Uh, first of all, I, I can can everyone see my screen? I would take yes, it as yes. a yes. Uh, so, uh, so this is a custom. Uh, this is a sample repository. Uh, this is how, uh, like, normally people keep their uh, notebooks in a notebooks directory. We would like their notebooks to be in this notebook context directory. Uh, once, once they have this, another required things are a file and a file log. If there are some environment variables which you want to be included into your container image on a uh, previous, like, has a prerequisite. You can add it into your .env file, uh, so you can add this. And once you have done the, once you have set up your repository, you just need to include. Uh, this is an example of GitLab. You can do a similar process in your GitHub account as well. You just need to in include a webhook, uh, which uh, we have provided. And once you have done that, you just need to do a tag release. So let me show you a sample tag release. So here you can test with a tag push in a GitLab. Once you push this, the request is going to webhook, which is deployed on our cluster, which is a Tecton pipeline. So the pipeline has started a build. Uh, let's see it. Let, let's see how it looks in the dashboard. So the pipeline is building. It go, it gathers all the information. The process which we are using here is an S2I build. Uh, the base I mean, uh, base image is an S2 minimal image, which is created by us, which contains most of the bin minimal packages. Apart from that, whatever package our data scientist has included in their repository in the pip file, pip log file, uh, pip file and pip log pip file will be included in that. Right now, there is no and no additional for in this simple repository. There is no packages, so in the pipeline you will see that no. Apart from the be apart from the packages which are present in the minimal notebook, no other uh, packages will be in installed. Once the packages are installed, we push it to the internal reg uh, image registry. Uh, just to show you the previous builds, so like this. Uh, so uh, this is a on the AICOA notebook repository present in the option registry. The image would be pushed. So on each push, based on the tag, as we uh, triggered a uh, tag for uh, uh, like a sample tag push. It will push it to master and also update the latest. Uh, let me show you the other previous builds. So there are some repositories from our other teammates. Uh, there was this drift analysis and OCP anomaly detection. Uh, they created it. Now what they do is they they already did uh, some tag release and based on that they're using their information. Uh, another Thing is based upon your release, you can view all your uh, based on which commit was this tag release and who is the author, what is the tag. Some kind, some of these basic informations are present in your environment variables, and whatever pre environment variables you wanted to include are also added into the container image. 
uh, once you have this container image, you can pull it into your Jupyter Hub. Uh, PC. So like this, you have open information and you can see your pip file and pip file log along with your uh, uh, notebook is present here. So it's a basic uh, pipeline and you can use it in your Jupyter Hub by just including this image into the Jupyter Hub. Uh, some basic information, if you browse through the card which is included in in uh, in in the, the document, you will be taken to this document which contains most of the informations along with what webhook is to be added. About the password, about the webhook secret, you can ask us uh, to, uh, to use and we what we require is your feedback, how you want to use this. Uh, some of the features, sorry, some of the features which we are working on is uh, releasing on an issue. So rather than doing a tag release, what you do is you go to your issues in your repository and you create an issue by saying deliver deliver a image, uh, deliver a build image, and and you can specify your own tag by saying tag equal to something, or else you can leave it and we'll we'll bump the uh, tag and create an image for you and include it into uh, include it into your image stream. One of the other counter bots which you can use is Kevishet. If you include it in your GitLab, it's readily available in GitHub. You can it, uh, install from the from the marketplace or else in GitLab you can include it uh, uh, as well. And it what it does it it will it will help you to do this uh, issue updating or maintaining your pip file and pip file log for you rather than you maintaining them. Uh, this is something which I had for today. Uh, this is just to get some feedback, uh, still a work in progress. And if anyone has any more tips or suggestions, anything, we welcome that. Uh, now I'd like to take any questions if you have. I hope. No questions. I Great. thought it was jammed. No, you're good. Doing a good presentation. Thanks for that.